everybody, Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Sim Settlements 2 for Fallout 4, Doctor Who edition. Y'all hear that? You recognize where we are? For those that don't, for whatever reason, we're in the root cellar in Sanctuary. And I'm sure y'all wondering what is that noise. Well, we're gonna get to that in just a bit. First things first, as is one as always want to do, gonna loot the hell out of this place. Make sure to get the gold bars. They're actually worth something. Can't get into that. Lock tight. That is to unlock. Uh, items and a camping mod for crafting purposes where you can craft tents and sleeping bags and all of the sorts of interesting and useful stuff like that now you see this here TARDIS key broken pocket watch Okay, the pocket watch is what was making the noise. And there's the key to the tortoise. Now, now what do we do? See this broken pocket watch? You need a high perception to even notice it, so. that yellow glow in there that yellow glow was time energy absorbed into us from the broken pocket watch congratulations I'm now a time lord now I'm sure you noticed when I pulled up the pip boy I got a level well yes I did well remember at the end of the last episode I said I was gonna clear out sanctuary well, there were a couple of things I had to kill, and I may have built a couple of miscellaneous crafting devices, and that was enough to get me the level. Well, I didn't spend it yet, because I wanted to save that for you guys. The crafting devices were a coffee machine, which is a, uh, which is a mod, which allows you to do stuff with the coffee tins and stuff like that and uh, also a Nuka Cola mixer. You know, courtesy of Nuka World. So let's spend this level. Level two, it's our first perk. It's the detective build, which is about learning as much as you can, getting through obstacles and discovering as much as you can. It's not a combat based build, but that's okay. You do well enough with uh, what you can actually do. Combat's not really an issue in this game. So we're going to put it into Idiot Savant, of course. Because we, we want those sweet, juicy XP bonuses. Although when you have a ten, 10 intelligence, you really shouldn't be called Idiot Savant anymore. It should be something more like Inspiration. Alright, so let's get out of the Root Cellar. And we're going to poke about a little bit, and we're going to show you the things that I haven't touched yet. And I will explain everything along the way as to why I haven't touched them yet. Don't mind the load. Can't be helped. I will warn you that there will be the occasional black screen of death. I'm going to do my best to try and work around that, but it can't always be helped. Beautiful night sky. And we are actually going to turn that off because we don't need it right now. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to show you the coffee machine.
and you can make some black coffee. Immersive coffee. What makes an immersive? It's um, <laughs> Skyrim joke. If you don't know who this is a reference to, can you even call yourself a Bethesda fan at this point? But for those who don't know, Immersive as Fuck was a tag from the great... Oh shit, what's his name? <laughs> great. This is from MXR. Uh, he's a YouTuber who used to do mod reviews for uh, Bethesda games. But has since moved on to react videos and vlogs and all sorts of w other weird stuff with his girlfriend, the great Twitch streamer, Potastic Panda. And this is pretty funny too, I hate Mourned Us. Skyrim joke. And did I just make myself a black coffee? I think I did. All right, and that gives me plus one intelligence and plus ten AP for five seconds. Okay. Well, it's an AP healer, which is interesting. Okay, Wasteland Coffee requires silt, silt beans. Blech. Plus two perception, plus five raz, plus ten AP per second. Not bad. Well, as you can see, there's all sorts of weird, interesting things you can do with it. One other thing I wanted to show you, and eh, really... That required me to jump up there to do it. Okay. I need to fix that. Instead of having it perched up there, so I'm jumping on it like a freaking five-year-old getting a, you know, a, sorry, three-year-old getting a cookie jar. We're just going to put it there. The other thing I wanted to show you was the Robco Backyard Robotics issue number one. This is the start of Sim Settlements 2. We're not quite ready to start that yet but we will and here's the other thing as i said the nuclear mixer station you've seen these before mm, mix cup this thing has been upgraded a bit where you can actually make your own nuka cola nuka cherry now and a whole bunch of other things but the soda mixes Or what we normally fix on. Craft ourselves a new Coca Cola. And power armor station, the usual stuff. Let's make some food. Simple Bloodleaf Tea. Plus one intelligence for 15 minutes. Fascinating. I'm sure you've noticed that there's a lot more stuff we can make now. Actually, I want to do one thing. Yeah. Thanks to Fall UI, you can change things up a little bit where you can only show the things you can actually make. And there's an old mod, this is an old one, uh, that allows you to cook the pre-war food and actually make it useful, which is really neat. You can change wild, uh, wild uh, produce into regular produce. So, all sorts of stuff. Not quite ready to really play around with this yet. But, oh, don't worry. We will soon enough. One other thing I wanted to show you. I wanted to do... <laughs> well, two other things. One. Get the issue of Grognak. Bingo. And two. Get the year special. And we're going to put this into, well, you've noticed that intelligence is not available because I have already maxed it out. We're going to put it into endurance, get ourselves a little more health, a little more action point regeneration, and get ourselves that much closer to Action Boy. Not Action Boy. Aqua Boy. Okay. And how the hell did I miss this? Oh, well, apparently I missed one thing while scrapping. Whoops. Okay, we'll put up all the junk. And uh, during my 
run around, I did find some extra things. We've got plenty of weapons now, a couple of, and a few grenades. Actually, that blood pack can be put up. Only need three rat X's. Okay, the sugar bombs can be put up. The Salisbury steak can be put up. The Insta mash. I think we can do something with the cram and the pork and beans. And the purified waters. I only really need three beers. Actually, we're going to put those up because at some point we're going to be able to do something with them to make them that much better. But now is not the time for that. Now is the time for cooking. Okay. Do we want the blood leaf tea? No, we're going to save that. And we're going to save the purified water for pre war food, maybe. At the very least, let's convert the mute fruits over. Get that much more available. Or not. Okay, make some roasts here. That's that much more food we can actually eat. Oh, we can make mute fruit juice. Plus one agility for 30 minutes. That's interesting. But the pre-war food is just going to do us that much better. If we want better agility, we can make ourselves some cooked Insta mash, which I will. And we can make one more thing, which I think will be the Salisbury steak. Do we have anything else we can do here? No, we are done cooking. Go back to the Nuka, see if there's anything we're missing. No. The chem station. Alright, start at the beginning, work our way down. It's the camping gear I was telling you about. You can make camping kits. You can make dog beds for your duggies. All sorts of tents, lanterns, all sorts of other stuff. Don't really need any of that right now. Drugs. Well, apparently 20 millimeter grenades are drugs. There's a weapon that goes with it. I don't remember which one. We can make buff out. We can make buff tats. Which I do like the idea of. We can make jet. That's about the only thing you can do with fertilizer, honestly. And we can make ourselves a buff out. Make another buff tats. I, prefer, I don't like making buff jet. I prefer buff tats and then go with psycho jet. Okay, this is from a mod called Equipment Crafting uh, Overhaul, which I found actually it works better than Armor Command and Keywords. It's a lot more stable. With the Gallifrey and stuff, can't really do anything with. We can make more Molotovs if we really want to, but considering it requires uh, adhesive, no. No healing, no mines. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Okay. I'm going to need to play with that. Reason being is because I hit a wrong button uh, before all this started. I want to change this up. I want the mods climates as opposed to the vanilla climates. It's a little harsher and a lot cooler looking. Quantum Flux, nothing there. I'm worry about that la a lot later. Don't have a syringer. Forget traps. This isn't... Uh, Oh, what was the game I was having fun with? Cal uh, this isn't Diablo 4. Utility. All right, let's look at the utility. Can we make... So we can make all this stuff. Problem is, the one thing I really want to make is not on the list. So we're done here. So why don't we go into the holotape. Where is it? It said it made it. 
There it is. Okay. Not what I'm looking for. Weathers. Launch NAC Climate. That's the one I want. And that's going to change things up. Going to make things look a little more dreary when it's overcast. Make things darker when it's night. And when radiation storms hit, all hell's going to break loose and it's rather spectacular. All right. We're going to work the 10 millimeter because that is what we have the ammo for. Actually, and that the baton is already maxed. Uh, let's go with... Well, first things first. Let's go with a hardened receiver, improve damage. Let's go with sight so I can aim it a little better. I'm actually going to leave the short barrel because I'm going to primarily be working from vats. And I'm going to leave the standard magazine because I have a feeling it's going to worsen. Uh, that's cost, like the large magazine does. And yeah, otherwise that's in pretty good shape. And what's the other one we can do something with? Be the pipe pistol. And same idea. Hardened receiver. Better grip. Sights. Yeah, we'll put a bayonet on there. It's not like it's going to mess anything up there. And that's going to be it for... Oh. Yeah, the stub barrel's actually got better vat cost than the short barrel. But we've done pretty good with that for now. Don't need that weighing me down. Okay, so that's a step in the right direction. What do we have queued? What do we have queued up? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this. Now we're going to do, uh, for, next thing we're going to do is the, what I like to call the newbie rounds. And there are a few. First one we're going to do is we're going to find the golden retriever. Should be quiet here. We're going to quick save just to make sure. There's nothing worse than to uh, get sprung on an attack and, uh, oh man, I got to do all that stuff again. Bah! I don't like it, you don't like it, nobody like it. And the pup should be rather nearby now. And there he is. Oh, he's so pretty. Hey, buddy. She! Oh, the name of Sally. Yes. Come on, sweetie. To sanctuary you go, girl. And that gets us a level. And we're going to put that into Night Person. Giving us plus two intelligence and perception at night. 
And what that does with the higher intelligence, you get more XP. All right, so that's that. And where are we? All right, let's get back. All right, we're going to start making the other rounds. And apparently we're going to grab some gourd blossoms. Because why the hell not? And as I said, we need to get two. We're going to save after getting that. And we need to be sneaky sneaky because you never know what's going to be around. So lucky I remembered him. He could have messed us up. And I know there's going to be a bunch of you out there going, Oh yeah, small stink bug. How bad is he going to mess you up? You'd be surprised. It's from the mod... Uh, I think it's called Commonwealth Bestiary or something like that. I forget exactly what it's called. But yeah, it's pretty... Wait a minute. Oh crap. Now y'all see that? The same mod I was just talking to you about, it brings critters from Far Harbor into the Commonwealth. That is going to be a problem. So we're going to have to give that thing a bit of a berth. But yes, if you look, you can see. If you see anything that, says, that has that sign on the back, be careful in approaching it. Make sure... I'll target it in vats. Make sure it is not a giant hermit crab. So we're going to give it a bit of a wide berth. Okay, there is something to be tagged around here, which we are heading towards. But first and foremost... <laughs> I hate it when I can see it, but I, I can hear it, but I can't see it. So, that's that. Well, let's poke around and see what kind of trouble we stirred here. Small colony of mole rats. Successful encounter means we save. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to go here and we're going to mark this. This is to a quest that we are, may or may not be able to do because it's been broken the past few times. We're going to read that note. Dr. Morgan's note number one. Dear Max, today is your ninth birthday. I'm not supposed to keep track of that sort of thing, but I'll never forget yours. I wish I could get you the best present possible. I wanted to bring you to the surface. Instead, I must ask your forgiveness. I don't think I'll live long enough to go back for you. My body is failing. I thought I escaped without too much damage, but now I see the symptoms. Nausea, headache, hair loss. I can't withstand radiation like you can. I searched the marshes for help, but I only found raiders. The only thing that gets past their thick skulls is a bullet. One of them stole my gun and I barely escaped alive. Now I'm closed up in this hut and it's too dangerous to leave. I won't last much longer. But Max, you taught me how to have faith. Faith in people. Faith in a higher power. 
I may not be able to save you, but I pray that somebody else someday will succeed where I failed. Dr. Rachel Morgan. So if we look around this hut, aside from the toolbox and the stair and that boarded up door, yeah, yeah, really nothing you can do with this area. So what's the point of all that? The point is to keep moving forward. See? Now this isn't part of the newbie run, but we're close enough to this. I just wanted to at least trigger this. Uh-oh. Oh, oh bloat flies. That's not so bad. Here we go. Silly little roly polies. That spit their babies at you. They're nasty. Okay, that's what we wanted to tag was the Devil's Marsh. And we are actually going to leave those roly-poly bumblies alone. Now there is something I want. You see that tent? That's where we're going. And no, not because of a kickball. But hey, early on you can use every little ounce of rubber you can get your grubby little paws on. Because where that tent is... It's a bunch of silk beans. And silk beans are used in many things. Okay, radioactive jugs. That's not good. A stem and a blood pack. Okay. I knew there was one we were missing. Now, if you were playing survival mode, hey, that's a place for you to save. But we're not. Actually, what we're doing here is, uh, remember I told you about uh, a path of raiders and one of the roundabouts? This is it here. They're actually at that tower. So we're going to save. And don't be surprised if we die a lot here. Gun's range sucks right now, but that's not, you know. Yeah. No. We're going to save and hope that this works. Oh, that worked all right. Take the dog out. Two, there's one more there. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, that's all of them. And that was actually rather easy. Dog meat and a chain collar. Ch collar doesn't really do anything. Three right, round, another pipe pistol, knuckles, play the left leg, and long johns. So what we're gonna do now. Okay. Long John. Uh, really?
Mm, actually, no. Since we're looking for just best physical protection right now, because nothing's going to be using energy at this level. More bullets, stim. Alright, let's look at that leather armor. That's two and three. Eh, it's about the same, actually, as what we're wearing. Combine the two leather pieces. Alright, here's the third guy. Another leather piece, fine. Although, the road leathers will give us the advantage here. Put the welding goggles on for a point in perception, for now. That actually gives us seven physical. And again, this early on, every last point counts. And here he is. Here's the last one. So what do we got? 38 rounds, pipe pistol, a raider chest piece, and a harness. The harness eh, sucks, but it's the raider chest piece I'm looking at. It is actually a point better on physical, so for now we're going to use it. Buff out mole rat meat, cram, and that. Oh no, wait. And okay, now that is the end of that. Save. They had all pipe pistols, so we're going to look at our weapon. Alright, we're going to switch to the piper. Just because we got more ammo. What's the damage uh, difference here? What's that? 16 damage versus 22. Alright, I mean, the damage isn't great on either weapon, let's be honest here, but it's something. Okay, not my brightest moment there. I think we're going to switch back to the spacesuit because it does work. Oh, right. That's what I'm saying. It does work as a radiation suit. Very well, mind you. I'm going to save. There's a blood bug there. I would ideally like for him to come close to it. Oh, I stirred them both up. Poisoned. Okay, so. We would ideally like some poison resistance here. Actually, there is something that can give us poison resistance. That. Okay, now we're just going to eat stuff here. We'll pop the mole rat chunks because that'll actually help with the... Uh... Okay. 
Okay, there goes one. I think he's fleeing. Yeah, the other one's fleeing. Which, fine. Okay, there's the dead one. Got some acid out of that. But the other reason we went this way, and I'm sorry it's noisy, but these storms can get kind of vicious. And this is the other reason I decided to pop, uh, pop the radiation suit back on, because of all this, that army helmet's gonna come in handy. Glowing fungus, always good. Already got the ammo in here, and another stim and purified water. Let's make up on the stims that we would have lost, uh, that we have lost. Okay. Got him. Good. Okay. Check on our ammo here. We're going to switch back to the 10 millimeter. It seems to be a bit better. And we got some more shotgun ammo, so there's that. We're going to save after that successful run, and we are going to switch our equipment again. Because this is all about uh, the best protection we can get for ourselves. We're going to put the road leathers on. The welding goggles. Everything else is... No, not under dog. Under armor. The army helmet, the raider chest piece, and the left leg. And before we go play at the Cletus' Brahmin farm, we are going to hit up the ranger shack. And yes, we have Lotis. Okay, so the Bloaties are bloated. Or de -bloated. Okay, now where are the corpses? Because... Look, fly meat actually makes pretty good. It's down there. Beaver? Wait, the beaver is aggro. The beaver is aggro. Bottle cap, varmint meat, perfect beaver pelt, beaver bone spurs, bone scraps, and a little. Okay. Let's get the hot plate, brain fungus. The main reason for coming here, currently take 5% less damage from melee attacks. Yes, that is excellent. Runaways holotape, bubble gum, and a green dress. October 22nd, 2077. I finally told him tonight, and it was bad. Real bad. Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried. Somehow that hurt worse than anything else. She didn't say a word. Not even when I packed my things. I can't go to John. He doesn't even know yet. Maybe he'll never know. Now I'm really scared. Why do you think I'd ever be right again? 
just another sad moment in the Commonwealth. Do I need to put this one together for you guys? Hopefully y'all are smart enough to figure out just what the hell happened to that poor girl. No blood fly meat in any of those corpses, just acid. I will grab that shovel though. And now to complete this circuit, we will go to the Cletus's Brahmin farm, which is a mod that is actually not available on Nexus, but on the Bethesda uh, servers. Some seriously overpowered shit here, but more friendly all at the same time. So, yay for that at least. So... So this is underneath the slaughterhouse section of the of the farm. Which means this is where all the crap is deposited. And I've joked on previous runs before that this that apparently a super mutant must live under here. But no, it's not that. Alright, so we're gonna go around. And we're actually going to do one more thing. There is a trailer halfway between here and Abernathy Farm. And we're going to go poke around in there. We are not going to go to Abernathy Farm. There's no need to go yet. Bobby Pin Box. Gotta love that. And there's some stuff here. Broom. 38 rounds. Some random junk. Crowd away and coffee beans. And a hot plate, circuitry, nice, especially early in the game. Stim pack, more purified water, and the straw pillow. And right, a couple pieces of hub flour. Now we will go to the farm. And we're gonna poke around. First things first, we've got a duffel bag here with some 308 rounds, some Molotovs, another pipe bolt action rifle, and a giddy up buttercup hat. Okay. A couple more Brahmin skulls. Let's open the barn. Hello, Mr. Handy. Can't grab those buckets. Those are milk buckets. Hello. And if you're a sucker for Brahmins, this is the place for you. Sweet babies. Alright, we're going to close the gate so the girls can't get out. Now we're going to go to the main part of it, which is here. Okay. Whoa! Always go for the legs on the animals. If they can't move, they can't fight or run away. Prime game meat. Rad horn or milk. Perfect rad horn or hide. A horn and a tin can. We'll eventually find the key. Much later on, though. So, Mr. Handy Fuel, always useful. Ice cooler with a baseball glove and a Brahmin skull. The skull makes sense, I guess. The glove, uh, no. Yes, I know there's a tree growing through. Okay, dead Brahmin has bottle caps and ammo and a grenade. And a. What kind of freaking Brahmin was this? Okay, grab that saw and that bone saw. Can't do anything with that meat there. Okay, got the lights on. First time I've ever done that. Go to the air condensers, you get some cooling caps, which... Hey, that's early aluminum, which is always a nice thing. Let's grab those. Okay, Cletus' Ripper is an incredibly overpowered weapon. It should never be used, honestly. Just how overly overpowered are we talking here? Where is it? Here it is. 
1147 damage at very fast speed okay and it sells a little too ridiculously well that this is a cheat right here this weapon is just an outright cheat so let's grab the brahma meat from this fridge and from this fridge some ice cold brahma milk and a bunch of ribeye steaks because of this mod ribeye steaks become a item used to make other things and are we overweight we are overweight that's an easy fix so we are going to go to our food we are going to eat the grilled rad stag which gets us awfully close and we are going to also hmm okay Yeah, we could use that, but that's a little overdoing it. We are also going to eat the cooked Salisbury steak. And we are going to travel back to Sanctuary. We need to unload a few things. And we need to get ourselves all sorted out. We're going to fast travel back there and just clear the place out. And once we're done there... We're going to move on to the other roundabout, which will be around the lake, and it'll eventually yeah, clear out a couple of spots. This is all north of um, the Red Rocket. And it will take us to the robotics disposal ground, where we will get our first ridiculous weapon. All right, first things first. Unload the junk. Now let's unload the unnecessary. And un by unnecessary, I mean constructible goodies. Gourd blossoms you can do with do something with in survival. I forget exactly what. I don't normally play survival because I like fast travel too much. The Brahmin milk is used to make other stuff, a lot of other stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. So. What are we going to do with the Ripper? We're going to scrap it. There it is. No more. Now I'm sure there's a bunch of you going, Why would you do that? Because I don't cheat. Alright, so here's this automatic. I can make that receiver so I don't really care. The rifle stock. Eh, it's kind of dorky looking, honestly. And there's nothing else really useful on there, so I don't... So... Oh, okay. So we're going to load up all the extra stuff that we're just not going to need ever. Knuckles. That. Okay, so what is the difference between... Okay, I see this pipe pistol is slightly different than the others okay we're gonna sell we're gonna get rid of the short pipe bolt action rifle in favor of the longer one and that'll put us in a pretty good spot for now let's see if we can Im further improve our pipe pistol to the short light barrel that's good well without getting 
crafting mods or anything like that. This is about as good as this one's going to get for now. Can we do anything with the shotgun? Putting an automatic on it is a little ridiculous and it actually lessens the damage. Mm. Yeah, let's just put a better receiver on it and call it a day. Oh wait, there's still stuff I need to put up. Even though it weighs 8 pounds, we're going to hold on to Morgan's spacesuit in case we desperately need... some radiation resistance. Uh... With my big whop and one charisma, I don't think an extra two points is going to matter. And yeah, nobody wants to see me in a green dress. Okay. I'm going to stash the extra rataways. We don't need that many. Everything else is in pretty good shape for now. Okay, so that's that, and the pup should be here now, yeah? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, there's our girl. <laughs> Alright, enough of that silliness for now, moving on. Don't know if I've saved, but I'm going to save again. Now, while scrapping uh, last time, I looted these guys. And I already got what was in the bag here. So this will allow us to just move forward this way. Man, what a dreary day, huh? Whoop. Baby River Rat. Wait, is the duck aggro with me? No, it's not the duck, it's the dog. Is the dog hightailing it? No. Oh, I see. The dog is chasing the duck. Okay, we got the dog's attention. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well, that duck should be a little safer now. The rad stag is just a big old chicken. Not worried about the the rad stag. The meat would be nice, but I'm not going to push it. Hey, 
And as you can tell, oh no, there we go. Oh, she attacked. And now that you, when you fight back, they'll back. She'll back off. And she ran off. Which is typically what happens with the rad stags. As I said before, they chicken. All right, moving on. Buff out in a trash can in the middle of nowhere. All oh, right, there's a fishing dock here. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we're gonna keep moving along. Hello, little duck. How are you hostile? You're just gonna run. I'm gonna ignore you. Okay, let's get the blood leaf. We're gonna save. Not sure if we saved after that successful fight, but we're going to save now. Pop that circuit breaker. You follow this sheath cable. And it leads you over here. And some cap stashes. And your first 44 pistol. Going up into here. And get some more loot. And we're going to save again. Normally, there are some mole rats around here. And the fact that I haven't been attacked yet is kind of disconcerting. And there should be a raider camp nearby, and that's actually the raider camp right there. Okay, so we're going to save. We're going to do ammo comparisons. Uh, about the same, but that's not what we're going to look at. We're going to look at... Oh, no, not that. This. Not confident enough in that. And we have it saved, so we're going to aim for this raider here. And down he goes. That's going to spur the dog forward. So we're going to be patient. Wait for the dog. Forty-nine percent, but headshots are magic. And boom! Just like that, the raider camp is uh, has been dispersed. All right, bottle caps, thirty-eight rounds, stems, another pistol, a raider left leg, and long guns. Let's compare notes on the armor. And what's that? Two plus two. Ugh, the raider left leg is utterly useless. We got a right arm. So, that's barely anything, but it's something at least. We're going to look at the clothing. We're going to do a side by side between Raider leathers and Road leathers. The Road leathers just look better. Raider leathers look like they're about to disintegrate. Already. Did we loot the dog? I don't know if we looted the dog. Yeah, we did. So here's the last Raider. 38, a Molotov stem, pipe pistol. 
leather chess piece. We're going to do a side by side on that. I think we actually have the better thing. All, all in all. Three and four. Yeah. More rat chunks. Fine. Oh, my, our first abomination. It's a drug that comes from one of my mods. I don't remember which one, but it's got a, has like a psycho-like effect, which is nice. Okay. All right. Now this ruined building has more silk beans. Nice. But the thing we're interested in is this broken into safe. 10 millimeter pistol. Need to look at that. Hair trigger glow sided. Ooh. So we're going to swap those out. That's better than what we got now. If we can only get a better pipe pistol, we'd be in pretty good shape. But the fact we already got a hair trigger mod on a 10 millimeter is wonderful news. Now we're going to make our way to the robotics disposal ground. going to save because that was highly successful remember save early save often It is the robotics disposal ground. Nice little entryway here. Stunted angler tadpole. Save. Before we can have any fun, we're going to have to take care of this angler first. Okay. Pfft. All right, let's go find that corpse. thing go. There it is. One dead stunted angler tadpole with radiated blood and angler meat. That is it. Alright, so we're going to find our way back into the robotics disposal ground, which will be right through here. And there are a few things to look at here. First, the chest, which has a fusion core and a circuit board. Hello, buddy. If we go around here, somewhere near one of these cars around here somewhere. There it is. It's our first fat man. Over here, we got some flamer fuel. And over here near the front, it's our first mini nuke. Now we're going to 
go in. We're going to close the door. Get the loot there and the circuit board, the stem pack, and an issue of Hot Rodder Magazine, which will allow us to paint our yes. power armor with flames and give us an agility boost. All right, so that's all the goodies here. Now, we're going to pop up this terminal, grab that tape. So we're going to go to the hollow tapes and fire up the Combat Sentry Proto Mark IV. Because if you fire them up, we're just going to leave them. And he's not exactly hostile. So as I said, because activating the sentry bot brings out the mole rats. So we're just going to let him do everything. He hasn't cleared it all out yet, as you can tell by the All right, so now they're all dead. And our little robo buddy has just. Okay, he ain't little. Our big robo buddy has just wiped this place out for us. Hmm, you figured those would be collectible, but they're not. So we're going to leave him here because he's going to be useful to us later on. We're not going to blow him up for his uh, fusion cores just yet. We are, however, going to uh, grab a level. It's level four now. What we need more than anything else is lock is locksmith. It's going to allow us to go back to sanctuary. And, oh boy, another black screen of death. If anybody knows of a mod that allows you to just eliminate these entirely and force uh, load things to come up, comment down below. I'd be more than glad to download them. Because this is kind of annoying. Alright. So let's unload what we've got here. And I think afterwards we're going to call it a day. Okay, that thing is toast. That's crud. I'm not lugging a 30 pound piece. Of, uh, I'm not lugging a 30 pound weapon around unless I absolutely need to. I mean, I'm going to put the shotgun in there too because I don't really need it. And that's all fun and everything, but. At five pounds, you know, at five rounds of ammo, it's not really worth it. And same thing with that. We're going to hold on to the pipe pistol. So, all right, that. We're going to throw all of our junk in here. Clean black suit. Ooh, that is kind of spiffy. But we don't need it right now.
buff that up. The regular jet. Okay, irradiated blood. Lots of uncooked meat. Now I'm not so sure if there's anything you can do with cram and pork and beans. Maybe once upon a time there was, I just can't remember now. Put the junk away. All right, one last round of, let's see what we can improve. Barrel's good. Grip is good. Still don't have the, oh, that sucks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave it here. This video is going on long enough. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to summon Jake. And we're going to start turning this place into a settlement, a proper settlement. And then after we get the thing from Jake to also go to Concord, we're going to go to... Red Rocket, we're going to meet Dog Meat, and we're going to clear out the underneath as well. And then I'll leave it there afterwards because I'm going to scrap the hell out of that place and get that place queued up. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow because it tells the YouTube algorithm that, hey, this guy's actually worth plugging. <laughs> Plug. All right, enough of that. Thank, this has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Sim Settlements 2 for Fallout 4, the Doctor Who edition. And I'll see you all next time.